Good day everybody. Today we're going to do lesson plan number five, um, term two, grade five, and the topic is multiplication and vertical method. Um, the link to the wor DBE workbook is worksheet number 31. Um, so that's worksheet number 31. We're going to go back to the lesson. This is the links to the caps. So if we come to this point, um, we're going to pause and you can have a read. What resources do we need? Some interesting facts and then your dictionary section. Um, then we're going to ask the learners, the children, to come and do the mental mathematics. So um, they're going to answer that orally or they can write it down. Um, it's time to pause your video. Welcome back. I'm quickly going to reveal the answers. So you can pause the video again, look at the answers and mark it. Okay. Let's then quickly go and we're first going to start with some revision. So the first one is where we write numbers in expanded notation. So 325 is 300 plus 20 plus 5. 108 is 100 plus 8. 7,642 is 7,000 plus 600 plus 40 plus 2. And 4,362 is 4,000 plus 300 plus 60 plus 2. I want you now to pause the video and quickly revise it with your friend or with an adult. Uh, now we're going to look at the second bit of revision, um, and that's the distributive property, um, where we're going to multiply 8 times 4,362. Remember, we can also write it as 4,362 times 8. Um, but because of the commutative property, it means that we can say 3 times 4 equals 2, 4 times 3, we can write it the, any way around. So what I'm going to do is I go to write 8 times and I'm going to break up 4,000 plus 300 plus 60 plus 2. And now what you can do is you're going to multiply the 8 with each of them. So 8 times 4,000 is 32,000. 8 times 300 is 2,400, 8 times 60 is 480, and 8 times 2 is 60. What you can do then is to add these. You can pause the video now, and what you can do is you can do the same activity on a piece of paper. Here, if you still struggle to add it up, what you can do is you can add some steps to get to that answer. Well done and welcome back. So today I'm going to explain to example one and we're going to do the vertical column method, but we're still going to make use of expanded notation. Remember again is we do all these things because it's small techniques that you're going to use later on in your life. Um, later in the year, we will, we will do the um, vertical column method that most of us know where we don't do the expanded notation on the site, but in this for this lesson, we're going to do it so we understand where it's come from and, like I said, is to understand certain techniques. So let's quickly see. We got 4,362 times 108. So what we're going to do is we're first going to take the 8 and we're going to multiply it with 4,362. So we just start now from the other side. So we're going to say 8 times... 4,362. So that this is my thinking, and this is on a piece of paper, I can work it then out. So now I'm going to say 8 times 4,000 plus 300 plus 60 plus 2. I'm going to multiply then each of them. 8 times 4,000, 8 times 300, 8 times 60, 8 times 2. I'm going to calculate it, and it gives me 32,000. 8 times 300, 2,400, 8 times 60, 480, and 8 times 216. And if I add this up, this is what I'm going to get, and I can write it down here. Remember, in later sessions, we're going to show you straight how to get to that answer. Now, what we still have, 108, we're not going to multiply with the zero, but we still got 100 that we need to multiply with that number. So what we're going to say is 100 times 4,362, we know when we multiply with 100, we just need to add another two zeros. So that is the answer. So 8 times that number and 100 times that number 
gives you this answer and that answer. And the only thing we need now to do is to add it. And we get 471,096. Use this opportunity to check your answer with the calculator. It's time now to pause and I want you to try this example. Welcome back. So we're going to look at example number two. So example number two, we got 5,281 times 146. So we're going to write it underneath each other, 4,281 times 146. We're going to use the same method. Again, like I said, is it's the techniques that count. And what we're going to do is later in the year, we will learn how to multiply it by only using this left-hand side. So let's quickly see. So we got a 6 there, a 40, and a 100. And we need to multiply it with the top number. So we're going to say 6 times 528. We're going to say 6 times, and we're going to break it up into 5,280 and 1. We're going to multiply the 6 with 5,000, and we get 30,000. 6 with 200, and we get 1,200. 6 with 80, and we got 480. And 6 times 1 is 6. If we add this up, we get 31,686. And that's what we're going to write there. Then we're going to take the 40, and we're going to multiply it with that number. So we're going to say 40 times 5,000, 40 times 200, 40 times 80, 40 times 1. And these are the answers we're going to get. 200,000, 8,000, 3,240. If we add this, we're going to get this answer. And we're going to write it down there. Then lastly, we got the 100. So if we multiply 100 with 5,281, because it's 100, we just add two zeros. And we take that answer and we write it here. Then we take these three numbers and we're going to add it and we get... 771,026. Again, it's all about the techniques on the right hand side that will, will help us in grade 7 to understand basic concepts of algebra. So let's try to do it this way. Pause and try it now by yourself. Welcome back. So what we're going to do now is we're going to you're going to start with the worksheet um, in the DBE book, or you can make use of the SA teacher worksheets, um, and you're going to work through them. Always make use of the examples if you got stuck. Now um, there is then a word problem that you need to solve. Um, you can solve problems from old exam papers or tests. There's some game, some fun that you can do. Um, I'm just going to give you our new workshop address if you want to purchase the lesson plans and the workbooks to work on it and not only, only following the videos. Um, and then here, if you tick all the yeses, you can carry on with the next lesson. If you've got some no's, revisit, revise or contact us at SA Teacher.